What I'm now worried about is this, do not add anything to the skeleton warning. Hey Best Pally, I'm Allie, and you know that feeling like you're dead but with pizzazz? I once made a 24 karat gold skeleton, but I feel like we could go bigger. 200% bigger. And 500,000 times more pizzazz. For this artwork, I'm going to take this skeleton fellow that's over two times my size and cover every inch of him with these tiny mirror tiles to make the first ever 12 foot tall disco ball skeleton. Ugh, this guy weighs a skeleton. Don't fall. Yes! <laughs> oh man, he is so big. Now I'm super nervous. I set myself up for something basically impossible. I have to get all of that surface area covered in a week to get done in time for Halloween. Also, why did I waste time building him? I gotta paint him first. Oh, hello, Braxton. Would you like a giant bone? Here, bon appetit. Eh? Nothing? What kind of dog would not want a giant bone? And puns. Well, mom got him pumped about it. No way, he's carrying the hand. You might break the hand. Yeah. Don't break the hand! <laughs> Braxton, stop. <laughs> this is for art, not for you. I'm gonna call him Steve. Steve has a degree in finance and loves to party, but no one knows it because his wardrobe is really lacking. Hence, he is now on my channel getting a shimmering makeover. But Steve was not an easy guest to get to RSVP. These skeletons are nowhere to be found ordering online. Let me just make some calls on my cell bone. Bonjour, I'm in need of a decorative human skeleton. Replica that's roughly the size of a typical human skeleton. Well, no Home Depot has one or a sense of humor, apparently. I found an offer on on Facebook Marketplace at this warehouse, which seems like the exact kind of place where bones may be lying around. Since it seems sketchy, I'll just go in disguise to protect myself. This is the only sheet I have, so I guess I have to be a pinstripe ghost. Oh yeah, I am a ghost, and a, and a ghost that works out because my sheet is fitted. Of course I'm late because I was ghouling around. Hello, sorry it took me a bit. I swear I'm not ghosting you. Love to pick up my buddy. Is it too big? Oh no. No, I don't need the box. Are you cool with getting it out of there and just like yeah, shift? Okay, let's go. Okay, I trust him now. We're losing the ghost. <laughs> Hello, new friend. I can already tell this is gonna be awesome. I mean, I don't want to get ahead of myself, but I was getting ahead of myself because this guy is so much bigger than I imagined that I'm almost out of paint. Oh, come on. Please don't run out. No. There are no hardware stores open right now. I can't afford any setbacks on time already. Oh, I'm so close. I was supposed to do the chrome over top tonight too, but that tiny little bit means I can't finish the primer until I can get more tomorrow. I'm losing a day. <laughs> No, before I do the chrome, I gotta make sure it's bone dry. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, that looks awesome. I'm painting Steve first because the square tiles won't precisely cover all the surface area. Even perfectly spherical disco balls have gaps in places, so I wanna make sure that even the gaps look great because we always put in the most attention to detail on the least sensible projects. Ow, that was two hours my hand hurts from enchroming. This is already so cool looking. Ugh, I have to stupidly waste time building him again. Jeez, it's a good thing that I did because I somehow missed this whole section. Well, that looks awesome. Anyway, so much for having let him dry overnight. I gotta get tiling next. Ow. I'm gonna start with his butt, cause hopefully I'll be good at this by the time I get to the more visible parts. One, okay. 499,999 left to go. I'm hoping I can do this in sections. Nope, that's two more. Okay, I'd better come up with a system. What did I get myself into? In case you hadn't guessed, I have never done this before. Not only do I need to figure out how to do it, I need to figure out the most efficient way possible. I need to bone up on mosaic patterns. Oh, just that small section took over two hours, but his butt is absolutely lighting up this room. Oh my goodness, that's so cool. That is keeping me going right now. Oh, hello. Did you want somewhere to eat dinner? Yeah, not on a disco ball. <laughs> you don't want some bone marrow? I started at 1.30, what time is it? It's like eight. I've been doing this for six and a half hours. Oh dear. Do not do this in our kitchen. I don't want to eat shards of glass. Okay, I guess that sounds reasonable. If I'm not doing it here, can you help me relocate it in style? <laughs> I feel like people are staring at us. Yeah, they definitely are. <laughs> Steve is very popular. It's kind of ridiculous he only has disco hips right now. First time I've driven a dead person in my car. <laughs> oh, don't turn down that street. It's a dead end. <laughs> I gotta laugh. That was another shiny waste of time. Really wish I had a hand with this project. Okay, if when you're shoving glass around, be careful. If you're surprised this is the first time 
I've bled for this project. It's not actually, it's just the first one that's been pretty bad. I am in over my torso. This midsection is so big and taking so long. I've absolutely reached the point in the project where I question my entire life. I can't believe how little I covered today after eight hours. The whole time it feels like I'm making progress, I'm getting there, and then my day is gone. But of course, I'm still doing the inside of the ribs, even behind the sternum where no one, not even me, will ever see. <gasps> Another full day and the torso is now half done. Who decided to make human symmetrical? I gotta do the exact same thing tomorrow. Good thing time has no meaning. Torso, it seems. This really does look amazing though. I bone believe it. Okay, I need some sleep. Undead pun. Oh my goodness. My fingers are so torn up from the glass that my laptop can't even figure out what my print is. I can't believe we're coming up on a week of this creation. I now really don't know if I'm gonna be able to finish in time. His legs are twice the size of these arms. And his head is the size of a me. This is so hard but I very much want a disco ball skeleton to exist in the world. Day seven, I am really working myself to the bone. <laughs> At this point, my puns aren't even funny to me. I can't believe how much work I've put in, and if I don't finish in time, it will all be an absolute waste. A skeleton video released in November is guaranteed to fail, and the performance of my videos is my livelihood. Hold on, let me just be more positive to try to help with that performance. <laughs> Felt like I deserved a break for some trombone. Really, if you like my creations and like my mission to put more outrageous in the world, please subscribe. I put an unhealthy amount of work into every single video and your support means so much to me. I'm about to do the foot and it seems I've already done my own foot. This is a really dazzling way to hide all the holes in my clothes. And if you really want to support the outrageous mission, please join my Patreon team. I promise to spend your money on insane things like 500,000 mirror tiles and continue not to buy new clothes. Oh dear, let's just get this. Done. I joke around, but I can't stand to make a leg pun right now. Okay, Bonehead, I have to get your dome done tomorrow. This is the last possible day to get Steve finished in time for his big debut. His noggin is the focal point of the whole piece. I can't screw this up, but I can't slow down. Every piece has to be perfectly, precisely placed, but pronto. And this is the last tile. <sighs> I can't even marvel at how good this looks. I am so exhausted. My place is a freaking wreck. I can't believe it. All of the pieces are ready to be assembled. He's a real Napoleon Bonaparte. I cannot wait to put him together tomorrow. Cool, it's already working even in the sun. What I'm now worried about is this, do not add anything to the skeleton warning. You see, I had to order 14 packages of tiles because each package has 36,000 tiles in it and that makes 504,000 tiles. <sighs> Half a million. Now each package weighs 5.6 pounds times 14. That's 78.4 extra pounds on the skeleton. I am nervous. I know I didn't use every single tile, but it's pretty darn close. Yeep. Okay, relax, Mr. Rubel. All right, now wake up and get your head on straight. Oh no, 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 don't fall. <laughs> no time to be nervous, just go. You look like you're struggling already. Oh, hi. Yeah. Do you want me to start? I feel like I'm violating his privacy. <laughs> I've definitely been all over his pelvis. Yeah, it's a good thing you're here. And now, slowly set him down. Stay. You did it. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> the sculpture is complete. Oh my goodness. This is insane. It glistens like I'm faking it, like it's a filter. It turned out so much better than I imagined. I can't believe this. Wait, Steve, let's get a Skelfie. Do you see this? This is so big and so outrageous. Oh my. I am freaking out. I cannot process how crazy epic this turned out. One, disco! <laughs> oh my god! I did. It took me about 72 hours of work. My neighbors just saw him and they're like, can we come over? <laughs> Hello! Look at its feet! Yeah. <laughs> There's a Halloween disco going on. Oh my goodness! Oh my god! 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 Oh
goodness. I know, it's way crazier I'm than I expected. Four. This thing is massive. <laughs> wow. That's incredible. Oh my hey. god. Can I get a picture with it? Of course. No bones about it. If you liked this, you'll like seeing when I turned my dog into a rug. I'll put that down there for you. I'm stepping on my dog. How'd I do? It looks so good. Down. <gasps> we got it! Hey, Best Pally, I'm Allie. And this is Braxton. Braxton likes laying around a whole lot. All the time. Everywhere. Braxton is Christine's dog, and he lays around so much, I call him her pet rug. Weird, there's a rug on the bed. Bless you.